Sandy. It's a lumpy day in Lime Bay, making it a challenge to haul in the pots on Aubrey Banfield's boat. As they're dragged aboard, they trigger an electronic reader that's a bit like the security scanners in the supermarket. A tag attached to each line registers which pots have been lifted and where they are. It beeps and the light changes colour and that recognises this particular tag which has got a unique identification number and it sends that data along with our position right now so we know exactly where this tag was read and when and if you link that to the gear of the fishermen you know exactly where they're fishing rather than they've just been out here and they've been in different areas but where have they been fishing this tells us exactly that position. Black boxes are being fitted to around 50 vessels working in Lime Bay. Half of the cost is coming from the Blue Marine Foundation, which is spearheading a voluntary conservation project in the bay, where fishermen and conservationists work together to manage the fishery. Fishermen here are keen to protect their livelihoods and make sure there's still something out in the bay for them to catch, so it's as much in their interest as the conservationists to build an accurate picture of who's catching what and where they're catching it. Since scallop dredging was banned in parts of the bay six years ago to protect delicate reefs, there's been an increase in the number of people like Aubrey who fish with what is known as static gear, using pots and nets. Conservationists feared the bay was then threatened by overfishing, so they forged a voluntary agreement with fishermen limiting the size of nets and the number of crab and whelk pots they use. The monitoring system will show they're sticking to that agreement. It's going to come anyway. We've, we've got to have a fully documented fishery. Uh, and I think it's good to get in at this end of the game rather than be at the other end of the game having things imposed upon us. A delicate balance has to be found here. This project is unique in the UK hoping to protect both the ecosystem and the fishing industry for generations to come. Duncan Slightome, ITV News, Lime Bay.